Hey, what's up everyone? Jason Turley here. We're back again with more Pico CTF 2023 Beginner Forensics Challenges. Without further ado, let's open this find and open challenge and read the description, see what it has in store for us. Someone might have hidden the password in the trace file. Find the key to unlock this file, and it gives us the link there. And then this trace file might be good to analyze as well. Let's make a directory, find and open, and then CD into that directory, and then let's start downloading these files. Right click here, copy link, come over here, perform a web get. All right, that's downloaded. Let's do the same for the trace file. Bam. LS type L. All right, let's unzip that flag. Ooh, we need a password. Um, password one, that's incorrect. All right, we don't know what the password is. We could use something like zip to John on that flag, right? And it's gonna convert it and it's gonna print out this hash value, dollar sign PK zip, dollar sign one, and then so on and so forth. We can redirect that to uh, just call it hash. And then, I can run John on that hash. Let that do its thing. All right, we see that it used the default work list, user share John password that list. If we're curious what that looks like, we can open that up. So view user, view that real quick. These are comments, these are ignored. Everything with the pound sign, exclamation point comment. And it starts here. It starts with password one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, password, password one, so on and so forth. And it goes all the way down to SSS. That's the last password. So none of those passwords were in, so none of those passwords in the work list were correct. So that's why we see John proceeding with incremental ASCII. It's just gonna brute force. If we wanna do a different word list, we can do tag tag word list equals whatever. I don't think that's the way to solve this challenge. I think they want us to look at this um, dump file instead. So if I do file on dump.pcap, we see it's a packet capture. I can do a Wireshark tech R and then just read that dump file directly from the command line. In the bottom corner, right next to my camera feed, we see that there's 69 packets, beautiful, right? So not too bad in the last Wireshark video we had there was like 1500 packets. So not as much to parse through here. So I'm assuming we wanna look through this dump, this um, packet capture and find the file password that we can use for that zip file. So it's always good to just peruse, see what's going on in the packet capture. We see a couple of ethernet packets have been captured. And if this is completely foreign to you, that's okay. The bare basics of this would be we see the source and destination address or MAC address. So just like sending letters in the mail or sending packages in the physical mail in the real world, you have the sender and destination address, your address and who you want to send it to. Because the mailman, the mail person needs that. The internet is the same way, right? You need the sender IP address or MAC address and you need the destination IP address. Where did it come from and where is it going? And also what protocol? I love the info column here it kind of just gives you a quick look at what's going on in these in these packages so just scrolling through seeing if anything pops up oh look when we click this you can see down here flying on ethernet secret is this the flag what's the next one say okay so these all say flying on ethernet secret is this the flag that's interesting if i try to right click and follow yeah, there's no stream to follow. If we go down here, we get some random data. Could the flag have been splitted? So they all say that. Could the flag have been splitted? Down here, what does this say? All right, the next readable one says, uh, maybe try checking the other file. And then we go down to this Google Chromecast nonsense. All right, so we see that uh, the length here, 47, 47, 47, in the protocol OX3 
one, four, three. But we look here, we see this one is a little bit different. And if I scroll here, it ends with a uh, equal sign, which is a keynote feature of like a base 64 or base 32. They usually end in equal signs. So maybe this is something that we can decode. Let me right click. I don't know the best way to do this. Copy bytes is hex. Mm, copy as printable text. Let's do that. Now let's open up a file. I'm just going to call this uh, lol.64. And then let's paste in all of that. We see we got more than what we wanted. We have those A's, A, B, whatever as well. But if I click on that, we see that that is the source and destination uh, MAC address. We don't want that. We want it here, starting at capital V, G. So I can come here, and then I can just hit X and Vim and start deleting everything until I get to the V and the G. Save and quit. Now let me do a base64 decode on LOL. And look, this is the secret. Pico CTF reading, and then it stops. The flag is like split. Is that the password for the uh, zip? Let's try that. Unzip flag. Can we just paste that in? Extracting flag, LS. Let me cat out flag. There we go. Pico CTF reading locked files success. Awesome. That was pretty cool. So earlier we tried doing John the Ripper. There's no need to do that. And if you look at the hint, it even tells you don't try to use a password cracking tool such as John or Hashcap. There are easier ways. So we looked at that PCAP. A lot of um, stuff to throw you off here. Right, like as far as I can tell, maybe this Chromecast stuff isn't really necessary. So if we wanted to boil it down more, we can just type not MDNS, right? And that will show us just the ethernet. If you look down here, there's 69 total packets, but only 52 are displayed. This makes it a little bit cleaner to look through. And all we're looking for is kind of what's different, what stands out. So we got it, we paste in our flag, we won. We solved it. Well, that's how I did it. Let me know how you guys did it in the comments below if you found this type of video helpful. Links to socials and anything else I'm affiliated with is down in the description box below. As always, take it easy and see you guys in the next video.